How can you use Artificial Intelligence Copilot to create a Power Platform app? Hello, I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. So the Power Platform is good for creating Canvas apps which are based on data. But suppose you don't have any data that you want to give it. No problem. With this preview feature, you can ask Power Platform to create the sample data for you, as well as the table. So let's see how we can do this. First of all, I'm going to go into Settings and Admin Center, go into Environments and click on a new environment. So I'm going to call this YouTube Copilot. Now I'm going to change the region, and this is quite important for this preview, to United States. This functionality is not currently working in any of the other regions. So type sandbox is fine. I'm going to add a Dataverse data store. So that's a database in the cloud and click next. And I'm not going to deploy any sample apps or data. In the security group, I'm going to click select and I'm going to have open access. There's going to be no security here. So anyone who has got access environment, but I'm going to delete the environment after this video. So I'm going to click save and it's now going to create this new environment. You can see the new environment YouTube Copilot is preparing. So I'm just going to pause the video until it's ready. Right, it is now ready. So I'm going to go back to the Power Apps portal. I'm going to refresh this page and then switch the environment to this new YouTube Copilot environment. Now, if I go to Apps, you'll see there currently are no apps other than two very standard apps that come with every environment. So in the Home tab for this United States environment, we have Let's Build an App, What Should It Do? So I didn't see this with my United Kingdom environment. Currently, it's just United States. So what is this app going to do? Well, I'm going to say I want to track employee expenses and I'll click on this Go button. So the computer is just going to think for a few seconds and then it's going to display a sample table. So this is going to have sample data with sample columns. So we can see the ID, the name, the expense type, the amount, the date and the description. It's also got various data types such as currency and text. Now I should be able to rename this table by clicking on this icon here, but currently it is grayed out. Similarly, edit table properties and viewing columns, all of the options are grayed out. So if I want to make any changes, I need to do it with the Copilot. So in this describe what you want changed, I'm going to say change the name of the table to employee expenses. And you can see working on it, and then after a few seconds, nothing has happened. So it has changed it to employee expense singular. And I said employee expenses. So Copilot doesn't always do exactly what I want it to do. It knows, for instance, that data verse tables are generally in the singular, not the plural. So do bear in mind, whenever you make one of your suggestions in Copilot, make sure that it has interpreted it properly. So I'm going to change this a suggestion to change the name of the table to expenses dash employee and see what happens here. So after a few seconds, you can see that the table name has changed. I'm going to now ask about the name. So I want a first name and last name column, not just a name column. Now, in reality, what I'll probably have is a lookup column to an employee table, but let's see what happens when the computer interprets my suggestion. And now you can see we've got first name and last name, and we've got additional data that we didn't have. We didn't have Smith, Jones, William, and so on. I want a location. So please add a column for location. And after a few seconds, we now have an additional column. There is our location column. Now, 
I think maybe not everything is right with this. I want some suggestions. So I'm going to say, give me suggestions. And the computer then looks at the table and it may suggest some suggestions. We can add a department column, a default column, a start date, remove the first name column. Or you can say, well, give me more suggestions. And it comes up with some more ideas. So I think a reimbursement column would be a good idea. We need to know if these expenses have been paid. So let's click on add reimbursement column. And after a few seconds, we now have a reimbursement column and it has given it a data type of yes, no. I'm going to change that. Change the data type for the reimbursement column to text and add a column for the date for reimbursement. So we've got two actions here, change a data type and add an additional column. Let's see what happens with Power Apps. And you can see it has now changed the type to a text column and then scrolling further, here we have our reimbursement date column. So in just a few minutes, we have got a Dataverse table filled with dummy data. So I think this looks good. I'm now going to ask it to create the app. So I click on create app in the bottom right hand corner. So it's going to take a few seconds. So I'll pause the video until it's done. And here we can see our app. So if I click on see a preview of this app, it directs me to the preview button in the top right. And here we can see all of the various expenses. So John Brown, John Brown had an entertainment expense of $75 with a reimbursement date of the 2nd of July or the 7th of February 2020. And I can add a new expense if I want to, or I can edit or bin an existing expense. And I can also see this, how it would be displayed in a tablet, on a phone. So here is a phone for instance. And we can see we still got the same functionality. Here it is on a tablet and the other way around. And here we have it in the window. Now this is just the start of Microsoft's plans with Copilot. In the future, and maybe now on your computer, you may be able to insert a Copilot control. And if you can, then that will allow the end user to ask questions such as, who has got expenses which have not been reimbursed. And there's much more with Copilot coming soon. It will soon be able to write your functions for you or maybe even change your app based on your suggestions. So in this video, we've had a look at how Power Apps Copilot can allow you to make a new Power Apps from absolutely no data whatsoever other than just a single suggestion. And to do that, you need an environment, which is United States for now. And then you go to the Power Apps portal. And then at the top, if you're in the right environment, you'll be able to write a suggestion for how to build your app. And the computer will suggest a table, which you can then alter, and then it will create an app. In the next video, we're going to have a look at Power Apps generally. So if you want to see that, please click on that video in the end screen. If you like this video, then please click like. And why not subscribe and click that bell? That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.